welcome back to part two on how to start a new YouTube channel from scratch. Video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can start creating videos, how to make your videos better, in some software or products you can use to even increase your engagement and views by creating great content that looks good and sounds good with minimal extra. So if you're here right now, guys, give yourself a pat on the back. You got your channel created like we did in our first video. If you had that all set up, you are ready to make videos. But before we get started, guys, if you've not yet done it, don't forget to subscribe to my Million Rise channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, so every time I come out with the latest video, you'll be notified. You can support my channel so I can keep making these awesome free videos. So now we're to the part where we got our channel set up, we got our art, we're making it look pretty. You can always change this later. We got our little profile, depending on what your niche is. The niche that I'm gonna do on this channel is Create Wealth Million Rise Edition. I put Discover the Latest Strategies. If you watched my previous video, I did have some different custom art. I actually figured out that you had to create a template to make it look a little bit cleaner when it was on your mobile. But now, how do we start creating video? So there's a couple ways you can do it. One way you can do it is with your face, where you're communicating and you're able to flip back and forth, which makes your channel a bit more personal and makes you kind of be the star of the channel. So if you're doing a niche that has to deal with fitness or animals or how to's, generally it's better to show your face, but it's not completely necessary. You can even start out maybe in the beginning if you're kind of you know a little timid or a little scared, you can take your face off, you can communicate what you have to say, but eventually I do suggest having a camera. So I'm gonna show you guys some camera options if you do want to have a camera as well as some screencasting options that are free that's going to allow you to screencast your screen like you see right now whenever you start creating video. Now the better quality camera you can purchase is going to allow you to have clear picture but lighting is as, as essential as having a great camera. Now the one that I am currently using is called a Logitech Brio. You can use a cheaper one that has 1080p. It's probably gonna give you the same results as long as you have great lighting. But you don't have to start there. You can start with a cheaper camera and then slightly upgrade, but I do recommend it. Because if you try to use, let's say, if I was using my Apple laptop, it looks very grainy, I'm not very clear. It makes it hard for people to see you, which is, you know, it gets a little annoying. You've seen videos, as well as if you don't have a proper mic, the mic that I use right now is a Blue Snowball. I'm gonna show you guys where you can find these a lot cheaper, um, just so you can budget it. I do suggest, so buy a mic first before you get a camera, if you can afford one or the other, because when you have good, clear sound that doesn't echo, it's a lot less annoying, especially if, even if I take my face away and I don't purchase a mic, it can sound like, oh, 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 like it just, it gets a little annoying and you don't wanna annoy your viewer, especially when you're trying to get them to engage, to get in your content, depending on what niche, or if you're trying to you know, start a Shopify store, they wanna be able to hear you clear. So the two, one, the, the two products that I use, we're gonna go over here, you can go to Logitech, Logi, it should be Logitech, right? Funny, um, you can go over here, you can check out video. One I use is this Logitech Brio. Right now it's $199. This C920S actually is a great camera. It's the first one that I started with because I did try to use my Apple camera and it was horrendous. I can show you some of my first videos and it just looked like garbage. Um, so I would definitely suggest if you're gonna show your face, invest in this. Um, started as a C920, but if you can afford a Logitech, great. Another option, if you guys were looking, you can go to a site called OfferUp, and you might be able to get lucky. It's basically a site where that's a local area that maybe they're selling it. Maybe they don't ever use their camera, and they're just trying to sell it cheap. Right now, you know, they're kind of selling it for the same price, $200. You know, due to COVID, a lot of people, unfortunately, are at home, and this is kind of a hot item product to buy. But sometimes you can get lucky. Like here, you can find this little Logitech for $55. They even have this one for $10. Do a little research, depending on which ones, but I do recommend a Logitech. Um, here's a C920X Pro HD for $105. But sometimes, guys, you can get them a little bit cheaper on the website. So you can see here for 70, they're just kind of price gouging at the moment. And then the, the microphone that I actually use that keeps the echo down, it does help depending on how your room is set up. If you have more items, you know, if you have carpet, there's ways you can prevent echo. You can look out on YouTube. You can have some vibration little pads that you can buy really cheap. Uh, but generally, if you decorate your room, it should bounce off pretty nicely and not be too bad if you have a snowball microphone. So the one I use is a blue snowball. And the reason I do recommend this one is because it's it's fairly cheap for what you get. It's very high quality. There's some Yetis and some other ones that are higher in that are like $100, $200, $300. 
early on you really don't need it unless you want it you know so you can see here you get this whole kit i do suggest having this little uh guard it's like a, a mesh guard it keeps like your m's and p's or something where it's a little bit more clear um it's definitely worth it but you can see here um they're selling it for 60 bucks 40 dollars, very reasonable 70 you'll get some better deals here's one for 20 bucks that's a killer deal you can get this blue snowball for 20 bucks highly recommend it this one's probably the best deal because it does come with an arm so you can see um, you can't really see right here but i actually have an arm mic which is nice i can put it closer to my mouth because the closer in the direction you are is going to make your mic sound a lot clear so that is the gear that i recommend starting off with and if you can afford some type of lighting like you can see here i have some lighting going on here and here i bought those on amazon for about I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks you can just type in lighting on Amazon I have to figure out where I bought them because it's been uh, a quick minute since I've uh, had to look that up but lighting is just as crucial if not more crucial than your actual camera it's what makes me look crisp it's what makes me look clear and I also use a little app called webcam settings you can download it on your Apple or Android it's a settings that allows me to look clear it makes me look less red it probably makes me look a lot better looking than I really am it does like some filters or not like filters of changing me but it just makes everything look clear and pop and if you want to go next level which I don't currently have you can buy some of those EOS cameras where they set up and then you'll have lenses where you can do background on the next that is obviously on my wish list but if you're starting a new channel guys I do suggest you know don't splurge on expensive equipment try to get the necessary things and then as your channel grows upgrade with the channel so if you're getting 500,000 subs or 2,000 subs start upgrading your equipment then because if you do that you're not going to splurge you're not going to give up it's just the best way to do it you can save money there's no reason to spend money that you don't need to spend but if I had to suggest one thing I do suggest getting the mic so it sounds clear because if you are in the beginning a little timid you can hide your face and then whenever you want to start showing your face so even here you can see how clear I look just because of the camera I have a nice HD it keeps the blur the hands going and all that good stuff so once you have all that sorted out the next thing you're going to need is a screen recorder something that is you know recording your screen because if you are doing um, depending on your niche let's say you're doing some how to's through the internet you want a screen recorder if you're doing fitness you could just use your phone and then you can upload it to the software but I am going to show you two free softwares and then I'm also going to show you the software that I use I'm not affiliated with it but I actually prefer to use it because I wanted to learn how you know the ins and outs it does take a little bit of learning curve of the one that I use but if you want to start off with free this is a great option so the first one that actually was even better than some of the paid ones it's a little bit of a learning curve but it is free it's called OBS it's an open broadcaster software a lot of gamers use it where they're you know broadcasting their face while they're playing on their game but you can download this on Windows and Mac um, I'm gonna do a video after I show you the next software of how you can set this up really easy in one second but it's great because it has all these little fun options where just with a click of a button I can switch I can go here I can go there like I can just do some fun things that you can mess around with and you know I'll show you the basics of how to get started so you can start creating videos because the best video you can make doesn't have to be a perfect one it just has to be a video that is being made and then what will happen is over time your speaking will get better your ideas will get better the way you do your videos the way they flow it's just gonna get better but you have to start and start putting out content start putting out videos so you can get that practice in. even if you have a channel that you do for six months and you're like man this is failing I'm not growing don't look at it as a failure use that channel as the next springboard to create another channel for everything that you learned in that and then you can create you know start booming that one so another software I want to show you guys real quick before I show you how to set up the whole OBS is called open shot it's a video editor it's something you're gonna need because you're not gonna get it on the first take unless you've been doing this for a while I'm not big on writing scripts but I do suggest writing bullet points early on so you get good at it currently I'm kind of I free flow a little bit I get my little notes out so I got like bullet points of what I want to talk about but I notice whenever I try to do a full script I was like this get video ideas from the channel I, like I sound like a robot and I was like man this sounds awful and I realized that if I had little bullet points you can also put it notes on your phone where I'm just like okay I got to talk about open shot video editor got it boom I'm gonna talk about it that's kind of the way I do it since you're not gonna always get it in the first take and you're gonna you're gonna slur your words I do it all the time don't worry having a nice little video editor where you can do cuts and stuff like that 
It'll make your video seem a lot, you know, more professional, like you know what you're doing. And if you don't know how to use OpenShot Video Editor, guys, just simply go to YouTube. It's very easy, guys. Type in, you know, how to use video shot okay they're gonna show you everything under the sun of how to do it and don't worry you know just because in the beginning you're not great at it you will get better at it over time and you'll be like wow even after a couple weeks of how quickly you're picking up the stuff so what I want to do here guys um, all you have to do is download this I do have a Mac just so you know but you can download this on Windows and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on my other screen recorder and I'll show you guys how I set mine up and how you guys can set up to start creating videos today okay right now I have already have my OBS downloaded if you have it downloaded for yourself this is what shows up on this screen I'm actually doing it off two different screens if you guys can have a second screen what I use is I use my Mac I can't pick it up I use my laptop and then I bought like a really cheap screen off offer up that allows me to look on both and the cool thing is, like I said, you, a flip of a switch, you're able to simply switch this. And I'm going to show you how you can create this. It's very simple. All you have to do is hit this little plus button. Let's just do, um, we'll do test. You'll hit OK. And then they're going to give you different options. So I've disappeared. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit display capture. We'll just call it 4. Um, you can do display one or t 0 or 1. And this is one of the reasons I do have two different page it or two different screens is because if I hit the one it comes out clean I'll hit OK and then you're gonna notice this little thing is not really fitted to how I want it to look you can actually grab these little corners so I can actually hit command on my Apple you have to see what it's for Windows but on my Mac I can actually make the screen smaller I can make it larger so generally if I want it to fit the screen so I don't have all this access or excess excess so we gotta do another take of that we gotta edit that out I'll open this up because I don't want my background on my screen to be there and then I could just simply do that and then that will be the screen that is going to be captured and I can even squeeze this down a little bit to fit and then there we go anytime I want to put stuff on the screen I'm showing up and then the next thing is if you want to add a camera you simply go here to video capture device we'll hit OK and we're gonna do our preset so this is what I was talking about. If I do my HD camera that's built in my laptop, it's really grainy and awful. But what I'm going to do is hit my Brio. And we're going to pop up here. And then look at this, guys. So now I got this big picture. Same thing. I'm going to hit Command. And I can shrink my face to be right here, guys. Just like that. I have that exact screen to go from there. And this is just simply the camera. So if I want to go back and forth, and let's say I just wanted to create that one, test one, to have a nice little face so you can go back and forth. All I have to do is go here and go to video capture device. We'll hit seven, we'll pick our device, which is our Brio. Here we go, we'll stretch it out so it fits the screen. Let's go here, I'm hitting command guys. And just like that, we have two quick little you know scenes. And the reason I do like the scenes flipping is because it just it gives people more it's not boring it's like cinematic it's not like great cinematic but you'll notice if you ever watch a movie or a tv show the scene only lasts maybe 10 15 20 seconds before it flips to something else it's just a nice way to keep your audience not bored and that's how you can create obs that's how you can have video capture and just like if i want to take let's say you don't have video capture i could take this off by just simply clicking it very cool um, display if I wanted to make that go away you can make it disappear so if you you know if you're timid in the beginning and you're a little afraid to show your face you could take it off and eventually once you got more comfortable with the camera you can pop it up show your character show your personality guys because it's not too late to start a YouTube channel because the way people produce content is different it's the same reason you can have Fox and CNN they're both news channels but they present the content differently some people might resonate more with you or they might resonate more with me maybe because I'm a guy maybe because you're a female maybe because you're a race maybe because of the way you talk or maybe you do it more entertaining people will resonate with who they're going to resonate with and that is the key you know you're always going to be judged whether you're the most perfect person it does not matter and don't be afraid to keep making content thinking oh you're nothing special I promise you People are going to find you special by the way you actually tell your content, by the way you do your content, and how you put your personality out onto the camera. It's just going to flow. It's going to resonate with someone. Someone's going to be like, I like, I love this person. That who is who I want to listen to. That's who I want to start following. So just like that, I showed you guys the equipment that you need to possibly purchase. I did show you how you can get 
free software, open broadcaster software, OBS, and how to set that up. And then in terms of editing, I usually like to do cuts. I'll do like one video of an intro. I'll kind of write down what I'm gonna do, and then I'll cut out the, you know, the ums, the hums, the likes, to make it a little bit more entertaining. And you can do that on OpenShot Video Editor. As well as guys, if you need a little bit more information on OBS, you can always go on YouTube of how to set it up. I kind of gave you the basics of what I personally do and how I set it up, but you might want to learn more. Maybe you want to get a little bit more creative, feel free to do that. OpenShot, you'll have to do the same because I actually use Adobe Premiere. I'm not affiliated with it, but I use Adobe Photoshop Premiere because I really wanted to learn the ins and outs. I know it costs a little bit more money to get it, but I feel like whenever I upload things, I save a lot of time. So the amount of money that I spend on it is the amount of time I save. So anytime you can save time, it's you know you're really saving money at the end. So what I'll do is on the next part, to, or I guess what is this part two? On the part three video, I'll show you guys where we actually have some clips, and I'll show you how I do it on Adobe Premiere and how quickly I do it to give you guys an idea, you know, to make you guys not see, you know, seem so intimidated because I was very intimidated in the beginning as well. I felt like I couldn't do this. There was too much to learn. But if you guys just learn little bit by little bit, don't try to make perfect videos and keep putting out content. You guys will slowly get better and better and it's going to become secondhand. You're going to be so good at it. It's going to be like the back of your hand. Or the front of your hand, I don't know, whichever one you know better. They, it, you know, you're gonna just know exactly how to do. Well, that's what I'll do. And at the same time, guys, I don't personally write scripts. I write bullet points. And then also on the next video, not only will I show you how to do clips and stuff, I'll show you guys how to find video ideas. Because depending on what niche you are in, you're probably wondering how am I gonna find video ideas? I'm Levan. I don't know anything. You know, that's why I always say pick your niche that you have some type of passion in, where you have some type of knowledge. And then what you can do is you can go to other big channels on YouTube that are large and get some ideas and then create the content in your manner of how you present it, reword it, and then you put the content out there. So if you're looking for dog training, you can go find dog training, some really big sites. So you can see here we got Zach George's training, he's got 2.78 million um, subs you can go here this person has 594,000 subs so just give you a quick little you know idea of what I would do I would actually go to his channel let's see what it is it's documentary training uh, TV I would click his videos and then I'll check out some ideas Wow American bully breed review very cool Akita so let's say I'm doing dog reviews I'll sort by his most popular and I'll notice his most popular are exotic bully dog. Okay, so if I want to get some information, I'd watch his video, I'd take notes, I wouldn't copy it, but I would try to regurgitate it in your own manner, use your own ideas, your own thoughts about the review, maybe about this dog, or something like that, and then I would just find very popular videos, because if it's popular on his channel, more likely other people want to watch it, because if he has 594,000, that's a ton of subs, but obviously he has some videos that blow up more than others, it's because that is what people are looking for, and they find that attractive. That's kind of the basic idea of how you can find ideas, and what'll happen is you'll be able to find all these ideas in your niche, unlimited, because you can, what I do is I would collect probably about 50 to 100 different channels that you find that are in your niche and then find the videos and kind of get different ideas. Let your brain juices kind of germinate a little bit and it just gives you ideas and then from there you can continue. And then you can even use cool little extensions like vidIQ where you can get some SEO. So here I even typed in create better videos since I'm trying to you know show you guys how you can create better videos here. You can get some SEO ideas of what you want to write because on the next one, after the next one, I'm going to show you guys why search optimization is very important. And you'll be able to simply go to your channel and whenever you get and you have all your clips, you're going to hit this create a video post and you'll upload your very first video. And don't be scared, especially in your first video, there's not a lot of people out there. If you can post on Facebook or if you have some other social media platforms, great. But early on, guys, you know, you're not gonna get a lot of subs, you're not gonna get a lot of views, but it's gonna snowball, and if you do it right, you're gonna notice that your channel is gonna start growing. So guys, I hope you liked this video, part two of how you can create and start creating better videos and be on your way to have a channel that's going to be part of your business, an asset that's going to allow you to grow, maybe start making some money with it, or you can do affiliate products or other products, which we'll talk about later in the series. Till the next one, guys, I'm gonna put up two awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my Million Rise channel. They're free videos, it really supports my channel. So I keep making awesome free videos like this just for you. So till the next one, guys, I'm LeVan, AKA Million Rise. I hope you have a fantastic day.